Okay, well, it's no big secret. In the DeBoer family, one of our biggest hobbies is playing golf. Mm -hmm. It all started, of mm -hmm. course, with my husband, who grew up golfing with his dad and then passed it down to his wife and to his kids. Well, you got me here. I don't golf <laughs> at all. Mini golf, maybe? Yeah. Does that count for something? A little bit. But I do know it's a sport that takes a lot of time, discipline, and skill. Well, there's an organization called The First Tee, now celebrating a year in West Michigan. It gives at-risk kids the chance to learn great life lessons using the game of golf. Okay, I'm sure you aren't too surprised to find me at my unofficial home away from home, the golf course this time of the year, and I'm here with kind of an unexpected guest. This is Jill Wallace, of course, with Goodwill Industries here in West Michigan. And Jill, I want you to tell me how Goodwill and golfing is now making a great collaboration this year. Well, Goodwill Industries, as you know, we have a lot of donation drives to raise money for our stores and our programs, but we have partnered with First Tee, and really this is a great collaboration of two nonprofits. Profits. We're coming together. We have very similar values in terms of respect, integrity, honesty. First T focuses on um, youth, at-risk youth, while Goodwill focuses on um, individuals with barriers to employment. So we're able to have a county-wide, or if you will, Greater Grand Rapids donation drive at several of the area golf courses. And so we're asking everybody to make those donations. Okay, so when we talk about donations, are we talking about things like golf clubs and shoes and clothes, all that kind of stuff? That's right. Anything golf. I mean, literally anything golf. And all those donations of golf attire, golf equipment, those will be going directly to First Tee. They will go through and check out what they can use for their programs and the, the kids that they serve. And then anything above and beyond that will be going right into our stores, again, benefiting our programs. All right, so let's talk all about the first tee. Golf, of course, is more than just an athletic activity. There are lots of character traits that go along with golf. We're here with Tyler Smees. You're here at the First Tee of West Michigan. You're part of the national organization, but less than a year old here in West Michigan. Yeah, I mean, we're really excited to be in the community. A lot of people love the game of golf here, but for us, it's just, it's a vehicle in which to teach life skills and values to kids that might otherwise not have the ability to learn through the game. So we're really excited to be here. Been here for almost a year now, but it's really taken off. So specifically, what kinds of kids are you serving and what lessons are you helping them learn? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. So for us, our real focus is working with at-risk underprivileged youth. We kind of determine that by students that are eligible for free reduced price lunch. We try to get them out by giving them scholarships to the program. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not open for everybody. The program is open for all, but that's really our focus. We work a lot with Grand Rapids Public Schools and programs like the YMCA and the Boys and Girls Club. And as far as life lessons and skills that we're teaching, every day they come out, they, we pair a value, like honesty, with a golf skill, like let's say, for example, putting. And so they learn through the game, like honesty, for example, learning to keep track of their score and making sure that it's correct, so that kind of thing. You've been involved with the program for now almost a year. What is it about this specific organization that has now made it your professional endeavor? Yeah, I mean, this program is just a passion for me because um, um, I grew up around the game of golf, and it's instilled so many things for me in my personal life, and it's just a passion for me. And there's so many people that just don't have that chance to learn through the game like I learned through it. And so um, it's just a great opportunity for me. Um, I played golf uh, at Calvin College in town, um, and it was just a blast. And so be able to kind of give back to students that otherwise wouldn't have that chance, um, it's just, I mean, it's a dream come true for sure. And you know, Tyler, I know that I watched my kids learn so much through the game of golf as well. And so now that's where the equipment comes in and that's how you can become involved. Clean out your basement, your garage, any of your used golf equipment, donate them through Goodwill to the First Tee of West Michigan. You can really help these kids get a head start in life. What a great program. Yeah, Tyler Smees, he was on the golf team at Calvin College when my son was just entering Calvin. And just really great. He felt he found out about the First Tee organization nationally. It was founded mm -hmm. about 15 years ago. Wanted to start a chapter after he graduated from Calvin here in West Michigan. And so he's just put his blood, sweat, tears, and love into this. And it's almost a year now that they have uh, been open here in West Michigan. It's part, again, of a large national organization, but it exists purely on donations. Mm -hmm. Those corporate sponsors, generous individuals, 
schools. And now getting this partnership with Goodwill Industries, a great opportunity for the golfing community to come together to really embrace it by donating things like equipment, the shoes, the clothes, mm -hmm. all those things that you need to participate in the game of golf. It's a great partnership and they will take new or used items at several area golf courses from the Byfield Country Club in Rockford to Railside and Byron Center. There's also the Elks Highland. All you have to do is look for the donation barrels. If you're interested in more information about how you can help the First Tee of West Michigan. That's right. And what Tyler says it's more about go just golf. He's not kidding. The First Tee of West Michigan ran an indoor program all winter long called Homework and Hitting. It was <laughs> like at the this. Elks Highland every Monday and Wednesday from <laughs> 3 to 7. The kids would bring their homework and golf clubs to work on both things. That's Isn't that really awesome? Cool. Yeah, and they find these kids who are considered to be at risk and they really give them a head start in life. Well, I just love the it. training and the time, golf can be expensive. Mm -hmm, you absolutely. Know, the time on the course, and so this is really awesome. Yeah, a great way to really help neat. out. So clean out your garages and your basements and give them a give them a hand. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so we got a lot of eight west to come, so don't go away, we'll go right back. Your all access pass to everything West Michigan.